I'm sitting up trying to figure out what you're saying. Like, what are you so for? <laughs> I'm recording this gig right now. <laughs> it's just a nice way to pass the time with friends, just to sing songs. And at the time, you know, we had no idea what we were doing. And now we just know a few more things and having a ton of fun. How did this, this thing go from being something that was small and quiet to being in the New Yorker to having you guys on a talk show in Brazil? <laughs> what happened then? I think we just, I think Nobu and I have a tendency to create a certain energy in our room, and I think that, you know, we just have fun with the people we work with, and the people that come out to choir are incredible, and they're willing to give a bit of energy to the project. It's just sort of taken off, and it's just kind of good vibes. And, and there are no auditions, so literally anybody can come. And, and, and it's not the fact that people in this audience Got you. come out of the <laughs> It's just about being mine. It's just it's really about being inclusive and, and a full be fully open door. And being deeply involved in the city that you're that you're based in. Tell me a little bit about um, how you are trying to make a difference this holiday season. What's going on? I mean we're running a campaign this year called Twenty Five Days of Charity, Charity, Charity. And to put it simply, basically we wanted to run a campaign that really Jaguar to sort of reflects how sort of diverse and inclusive choir is and we're proud to live in a city like Toronto and we feel like it's such a beautiful place to live, and we feel really lucky. So we wanted a campaign that really showcased, you know, so rather than make a donation to one charity, we make a donation to our campaign, and we're spreading the money evenly amongst 25 charities. And the charity has been selected by our choir members, and they're all incredible organizations. So we thought, in some way, it's a way of really saying, you know, I can make a donation to something that really matters a lot to me, but I want to make a donation to what matters to as many people as possible. And it's just sharing the idea of charity and building a community around that idea is something that we're we're pretty proud of this holiday season. And that's the quick and easy kind of donations you make. They just come in. We do. For every day we're profiling a different charity, and today that charity is, is a daily bread food bank, which of course, as you know, does incredible work. And uh, so we're really excited to be here and to be uh, helping raise money. So we want to thank you for updating today's uh, day of bread. It's uh, a pleasure. You guys do great work where you are. And the Maryland was right. I mean, the city was defined by the people who were here, the people who built the city. So I'm not quite sure what you think of. Thanks for having us. Snowboo. Choir, choir, choir. They're going to be performing with us uh, in just a moment. First, I want to say thanks. A show like this does not happen, as you can imagine, by accident. It takes a lot of work from a lot of people to pull something like this off. People like Gord Cochran, Chuck Dutras, Kim Holmgren, Amanda Grant, who's been getting you to applaud all morning long, Morgan Dunlop, Tara Simmons, Brian Townsend, and Leanne McDonald. Our communications and our events team. Special thanks to the musicians and volunteers uh, who donated their time and talent today, especially to the Toronto Musicians Association and to CBC Music, our partners for Sounds of the Season. Shout out as well to Greg DeClute, Doug Doctor, Alain Javan, and the team here in Glen Gould Studio. Chris Hopping will book the artists for today's performance. Jessica Lowe, 